Iraqi women's rights activist Rehan uh, Yaqub killed by unknown gunmen in Basa, in Barsa, Iran, Iraq. Um, unknown gunmen have assassinated three women human rights activists, including Rehan uh, Re, Reham, um, Yaqub, a doctor, a media personality, and a women's rights activist on August 19th. Sources speaking to German news agency said all the victims were activists in the, in the protests taking place in nine Iraqi cities since October 19th, demanding political and economic reforms in solving the unemployment problems in the country. Dr. Yaqub is said to have played a prominent role in leading local anti-government protests. Iraqi Prime Minister Mustafa al-Karzimi uh, has fired Basra Police Chief Lieutenant General Rasid Fali and a number of security directors from their posts due to the recent Basra assassinations. Wait, is this the right one? Let me, I want to make sure mm -hmm. I have the right one up. Yes. Okay, okay. All right, commentary, come on. I had to look this up first. Um, well, I want to let give you guys me, go first. Give me some juicy, juicy detail. Um, it's really sad. I think it's worth reminding people um, the price that people pay for their freedom. Um, I wanted to honor this feminist activist um, for her work Wait. and um, what she did for her people. And um, she was Wait, an accomplished I have to woman. Apologize. I, wasn't, I wasn't paying attention to the story because I was re uh, rearranging the story uh, because I had the wrong one up. I shouldn't refer to this as a juicy detail. This is a horrible news. I wasn't paying attention. Sorry. Um, You're never paying apologize. attention. No, okay. I had the wrong news up, so I had to. Because adjust Herman, it. We, we don't care. Order, Let's move on. Because we went out of order, I, but it doesn't matter. Yes, then I went out of order. This is not my fault. Okay, I had to. I, I I had to apologize because I shouldn't have described the news like that. So that's was important for me to say. But sorry, go on, Susanna. Go oh, on. I did go out of order. That's my fault. Ah! See, it's <laughs> ah, <laughs> this. Okay, <laughs> okay, go on. Anyways, what's important here is the story about this accomplished woman who was murdered for her activism in trying to promote freedom and prosperity for her people. Um, I think this was a huge loss to the Iraqi people. Um, she was accomplished. She was a doctor. She was a nutritionist and doing a lot for her community. And there were um, two other women who were murdered alongside of her as well. Um, do yes, go ahead. I was just going to say, and this is like the third or fourth one of these attacks in the last week. So, I mean, it's, it's terrible about this woman, but nobody seems to be safe right now in this, because these are these gunmen that are just mowing people down and, you know, they have this security official and it still is not stopping this. This is, I think the third or the fourth one of these attacks. Yeah, there's been an ongoing um, bait or spate of um, assassinations recently. And um, that's why several of the police were fired after this recent assassination. Uh, Armin Shippum, do you have any comments? Wait, is there going to be any justice for her? Hopefully. I think um, the, um, the first step was to take a serious look at what's going on in the police and security forces. How was this allowed to happen? Um, they are um, quote unquote doing everything uh, necessary for forces to undertake their duties. Um, this is from the prime minister. Complicity with the killers and submitting to their threats is rejected and we will do everything necessary for the Ministry of Interior and Security Agencies to carry out the task of protecting the security of society and the threats of outlaws. Um, I think this case has, um, helped this assassination has helped remind the international community a lot about what's going on in Iraq. Um, and, um, the, the ongoing protests that have been going on since the fall. Yes. Thank you for joining us. Subscribe to our channel. 
hit the bell thingy. If you haven't, I don't know why, what has, what's holding you back, okay? If you haven't subscribed to our channel, why haven't you subscribed to our channel? Explain that to us, please. Like, bell, <laughs> and also, if, you, if you're not getting notifications and stuff because YouTube is not telling people that we have shows because YouTube is like, oh, this person told us that they want to get your shows, right? They want to get your videos. But nah, you, we think it's no. And oh, look, oh, they also hit the bell button. But nah, you guys are too controversial. We want to show them mainstream stuff. We want to show them CNN or cat videos or whatever. But even there are people like, no, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, nah, we don't think you want this. They're like, no, please show it to us. We say to you, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, we think we know what's better for you than you yourself. So... To solve that, link, there's a link in the description, uh, which is to our newsletter. So hopefully some of our, we could email it to you. So hopefully you get some of our content that way, okay? So yeah, subscribe to our newsletter as well. And share, share our videos because, you know, we do get demonetized. That's an obvious on every one of our videos. So F that, but we don't care about that anymore. <laughs> but we also get deprioritized. And that's even more damaging to us. Deprioritize, what does that mean? That means we're not we don't show up on the suggested you know videos on the right and all that, you know, on the on people's home pages. And that's how channels grow. Unfortunately, we can't grow. So we need you guys to share our videos. 